greetings and welcome back to my channel. I am Tracy, and thank you all so much for being here. Um, tonight, I'm going to do something I haven't done yet. I'm going to do a ninja swipe. There's a couple of reasons, few reasons that I'm going to do it. One, I have a lot of leftover paints that I just need to get rid of, and I figured this was a good way to do it. Um, two, I have signed up for the, I'm so excited, I have signed up for the Fluid Art Boutique in Washington, D.C. with the Fab Four, um, and I'm taking Sarah Max Ninja Swipe class. So I've never done a Ninja Swipe before. This is the first time you're seeing it here live. <laughs> um, so I kind of want to do a before and after to see what I did wrong or what I did right and how I got better. Um, and then thirdly, a little bit into my private world, I apparently somehow throughout the night last night scratched my cornea of my right eye. I mean, sliced it. So we had to make an emergency trip to the ophthalmologist today, and I have a one and a half by three and a half millimeter, which is very tiny, but it is your cornea we're talking about. Um, slice on the middle of my cornea. So they put a non-prescription contact in it for now to work as a band-aid and antibiotic drops and all that. It is feeling much, much, much better, but I can't see out of my right eye very well at all tonight. So I figured flinging paint and really, you know, not worrying too much about where it goes might be a good idea for a painting tonight. So those are my three main reasons for doing a ninja swipe. And my fourth biggest reason is you guys. I want to always challenge myself and I want you to join me for this journey. So I'm going to try to go over my colors as best as I can. But like I said, these are leftover paints that I've had for a little while. I had to doctor them up and filter things filter them and to get some of the old gooks out of it and water some down and thicken some up. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend that if you have uh, leftover paints that have sat for more than a week, um, before you use those again on a painting, fill, strain them. Just get one of the little dollar store strainers and pour your paint through it even a couple of times it really pays off in the long run because there might be little pieces in there that you don't see. Still might be in these tonight. I've strained all of them twice, but I'm still finding little bits and pieces. Okay, so I've already laid down my base coat and it was a mixture of um, uh, Rust-Oleum, Pearl White, and then some Artist Loft um, white and then a little bit of deco art satin enamel white and i do know that this was mixed um 50 percent flow trawl and 50 percent um, liquitex with a big old squirt of gac 800 so that's going to be my base coat i know y'all can't tell this on film or camera but it's got the most beautiful pearl sheen in it. It is so pretty, so it's not just a stark white. All right, then to the best of my knowledge, I think this is um, Payne's Gray. Probably, more than likely, it's a little bit of Amsterdam's Payne's Gray and um, Golden's. This is homemade uh, Mysterious. Um, Art Minds used to make this beautiful, beautiful color, mysterious, and they quit making it. So I think Gina DeLuca shared the homemade recipe with Mina Villegas, and the world just took it from there. And then this one is uh, Golden Nickel Azo Gold. I don't see any shimmer to it, so I think it is just the regular Azo Gold. Going quick. Um, this is Deco Art Pewter, and I don't know if I'm going to use all these colors or some of these colors. This is, what is this? Deco, no, this is um, 
folk art, uh, green flash. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure. This is Arteza Bordeaux Red. And all of my paints are really thick. Mainly because they've been sitting here for a while. They thickened up. This one, I think, is Global Turquoise. I think. Close enough. If y'all go with the names of them, you know, you'll get close enough. This one is um, Orchid Flash. I'm pretty sure. I'm looking over at my shelf. Yeah. This is um, Folk Art Treasure Gold um, Orchid Flash. And then 20, Deco Art 24K. And then I don't know what this one is other than it's also a white pearl. I don't know who it's made by. It's probably just a mixture, but it's very similar to my base coat. All right. Again, don't know if we're going to use all of them, but I need to get rid of some paints. And I've never done a ninja swipe, so we're just going to go for it and have some fun. All right. Let's quit jabbering and get to puddling. So I'm going to start with some Payne's Gray. I think I'm going to go like in this area and fling here and there. Oh, and my canvas is an 18 by 24 gallery wrapped artist loft. So we're going to do a little puddle of Payne's Gray. I might set those there for now. Um, then I'm going to do a little bit of pewter. And I'd I did not plan ahead of how I'm layering, so I am literally just going to wing it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this pearl down just to break up these colors, even though that is my pretty much my base coat color. And then I'm going to go with the green flash. And then turquoise. That mysterious or the homemade mysterious. It's such a pretty color. Um, let's do a little bit of gold. And Bordeaux Red. I don't know how much I love Bordeaux Red. I cannot steal it, though. That is no doubt Sarah Mac's signature color. Um, I'm going to be daring. I'm going to put a little bit of Orchid Flash on top of that. Just a little bit. And go back to Payne's Gray. And the green flash. And the turquoise. If this turns out pretty, I'm probably going to make a couple of them so I can finish getting rid of all this paint. And the pewter. Not sure I like that, but we're going to fling it anyway, right? A um, little bit of gold, just a little bit. A little bit more of the pink. A lot. What do I want now? Let's do more of the Payne's Gray. Gray is still probably my favorite, favorite color. And then Bordeaux Red. Almost done, guys. Then I want to finish it off with, you know what? Let's just do a little bit 
of the azo because I didn't put it anywhere else. All right. I don't know if that's enough paint or not, but we are going to stop there and get to the most fun part. Take some of the this pearl because it's not as thick as my base coat, and I'm going to pour around just to give everything some room to slide. Okay, I'm so excited and I'm nervous. Okay, and I have lots and lots of tools over here to play with. Um, I'm going to start with this one, just like a cake icing spreader. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> you ready? You ready? Oh, I'm so excited and I'm nervous. I've never done this. Okay, I mean, it's just paint, right? Okay. We're just going to, I'm going to go up that way. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I guess I need to fling a little harder. Okay. That went cool. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> this is super fun. Sarah, I can so see why you love this. I can tell though you have to you do have to be very careful with what colors you use um, because I love this but I can see how they would get muddy very very quickly and it makes lots and lots and lots of bubbles oh my gosh y'all this is so much fun I highly highly recommend it all right we're gonna tilt some Oh my goodness. And then you always can go back and clean up your little splatters. There's no way y'all can see this, but right here is so cool. I'll bring y'all in a little bit, but it's a line that twists and then there's these teeny tiny little row of gold cells. All right. Oh, and then there's all kinds of cells right here. Okay. So I'm just going to bring it back a little bit this way. Actually, I'm going to go off here first. And then down. Oh, this was so much fun. I cannot wait to take Sarah's class and learn more about it. Sorry, I get quiet when I'm thinking. I'm looking at the composition and deciding what I want to do with it. It's so cool. I love it. Set it down for just a minute. I'm probably going to speed this part up and put y'all to some music because I know that this part can get a little boring. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next.
I gotta show you something before I show the painting. <laughs> Look at my dogs. It took me so long. There's one sleeping right there. There's the big boy. And there's my puppy. They got tired of waiting on mom. So, <laughs> right. but here's the painting. All right, I'm gonna take you in really, really close. I love it so much this was so much fun i'm this will all level out it's just because i kept going back my paints are drying but y'all look like i said i gotta work on my swirls <laughs> and this where is it oh i gotta reach look at that look at that twist can y'all see that that all just came from, oh, it's so dark. It's hard for y'all to see. <clears throat> it came just from flinging. I remember in the very beginning, I was like, oh, this line, it's got those little teeny tiny cells. That's, that's there. Come on, camera, focus. The detail, look at this swirl. <laughs> Isn't that cool looking? I do. I cannot wait to take Sarah's class and do more of these. This was so much fun. It is 
definitely very, very time consuming. Um, of course, depending on, you know, how much <clears throat> detail work you do. Um, I, I could just sit and play with it all day and all night and just keep adding, but it's, it's just so cool. It was so much fun. I love it. Cannot wait to see how it dries. It's weird because normally I can look at my paintings and right away I, I see something, you know, and it's like, okay, that's what the name of it's going to be. I don't know. Y'all help me. What do you see? What should we name my very first Ninja Swipe? Tell me in the comments what you see. Thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me. I will hopefully edit this video because in real time, it's about two and a half hours long. And I know there's nobody that stuck around that long. I wouldn't. But thank you so, so much for being here. I love you all so much. Please take a second. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, every single person that subscribes, whether you've already subscribed or not, but on April 30th, I'm going to put your name in a drawing. And the lucky winner is going to win a free painting from me. Um, and I'll pay for the shipping and everything. I think what I might do is the winner, I'll give you like several options to choose from, or if you want me to paint you something, um, you know, if I've already done a painting that you like, if it hasn't sold, um, tomorrow I've got, I've been asked to display a bunch more of my paintings in a local salon. So I've been working all day other than going to the eye doctor <laughs> on getting all of those ready. I still have to stay up and varnish a couple of pieces tonight. But anyway, off subject. <laughs> um, so yeah, please take a minute, subscribe to my channel and um, hit that thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and leave me a comment. Help me name this beauty. So I love you guys all so very, very much. And until next time, bye friends. Thank you.